आगे जा रहे हैं कितना जन रात तो आ रहे हैं जन डरे जन अरे Alright, so right here we are at Mar Electronics. I think, uh, if I'm not wrong, my info says somewhere close to around eight years they have been exhibiting at Automation Expo. Let's get to understand how Mr. Chetan felt during the break that he took during our unwanted pandemic, and uh, how does it feel to be back? Uh, thanks. Uh, yeah, I said, I said we are back after a three-year hiatus. And uh, it sort of is a homecoming of salt. We've been associated with uh, Automation Expo since uh, 2014, and uh, so this gap is something where uh, I mean, more importantly, uh, when we see the customers coming in, uh, the lot of uh, crowd that is coming in, it means that I think uh, we've put uh, the pandemic well past behind us, and uh, so it's very very uh, awesome feeling to have uh, to be back in business. And uh, I suppose I think uh, this year uh, it, it seems to be a bigger and a better version, uh, especially with a lot of uh, the, the industrial uh, players and industrial automation uh, manufacturers uh, being present here. And I, I hope we are all able to make the best out of uh, this, this uh, expo and then further our, our business interest and uh, we should look forward to be back here again uh, next year. Oh yeah, we're looking forward to the same as well. Since we uh, spoke on the note of the pandemic, uh, what I get to understand is like, of course, we have have human nature has been such all these years, and especially in India, nothing stops us. And if there's anything that comes in our way, we probably take a deep breath and we fire back. And we fire back full power. In particular, this industry, I think, uh, after what they've seen during the pandemic, they've realized a new perspective altogether. People have started thinking in a new direction that what if something like that happens, then how do we deal with that situation? And I think this industry has fought hard to bring in products and to bring in services that would match the standards. Have you come across anything of that sort which was able to help you probably as a consumer and if you know of anybody like that at our expo or as a provider if you have been able to provide anything we'd really be happy to know. Basically look I, th I think I think the perspective as you rightly said that the pandemic has been a once in a life uh, sort of a change for all of us that we had uh, none of us had anticipated uh, but <coughs> sorry with those threats also comes an opportunity True. and and and, and uh, i think i think uh, most of us uh, have seen ebbs and tides of um, uh, the recessions and the slowdowns but this was something completely unwarranted and it was out of the uh, uh, path that we actually yeah, we had didn't to expect this kind we of didn't expect so uh, eventually i think uh, the companies uh, got uh, I, I mean again when you, when you look at automation, it is at the forefront of uh, digital revolution. It has always been at the forefront of uh, digital revolution. So this also gave a fillip in, in sort of trying to push the digital uh, transformation of the industry much more quicklier than what we had actually envisaged uh, before. And so we probably adapted ourselves much quicker uh, than, than, than uh, many of the other industries and, and therefore also because we are at the forefront of manufacturing basically right at the uh, top of the uh, food chain in terms of manufacturing so in order uh, for us to be relevant we had to be more adaptable and adapted very quicker in order to sort of stay stay grounded and stay rooted and uh, in order to survive to be honest and so uh, this also provided us uh, provided us all the opportunity for us to uh, introspect uh, and, and, and sort of uh, recharge our batteries a bit and then also maybe uh, re-strategize the way in which uh, we uh, look at the traditional way of doing a business. And uh, I think I think what has happened, I mean of course uh, 
uh, on on the human side uh, there been lot of uh, cost that uh, everyone will has to has, has had to pay in a personal lives with lot of lot of uh, people whom we know having uh, lost but at the same time i think uh, now is the situation that uh, we are in where i think we know very clearly uh, that if you have succeeded in uh, moving uh, or or staying relevant and uh, sort of being successful with the pandemic i think now nothing is impossible wow thank you so much mr chetan for sharing it sharing with us your inputs i think just like he rightly said uh, automation will probably help you to understand what are the opportunities automation will help you know your competitors you may be not aware of them but yeah this yes they exist and uh, what are the kind of products that could probably you know be something that challenges your product and uh, all this can only make us better 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 and uh, i don't think uh, we'll say we are the best we'll just keep getting better with time Absolutely. all right and i i i on behalf of my entire team wish uh, the id communications all the best and and i hope as i said we continue with that uh, association uh, for for a longer time and let's let's hope that uh, the 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 flagship uh, automation expo that uh, we are all used to gets bigger and better uh, with each sure. passing year so continue to treat automation expo like your vacation home and please join us year after year and we assure you that we'll keep giving you the best Absolutely. always all right thank you so much thank you mr chetan for your time thank you.